Hey -o, it's me, Brian. <laughs> Today we're up here in the bubbling metropolis of Manhattan, the home of the Manhattan Project. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're working on the plumbing here for the studio apartment, which is above me. I'm mean, down here in the work area, right, slash garage. More small work area than garage. I'm back here in the laundry room uh, where all the plumbing comes in. You can see behind me right here, this is the drain for the sink that runs this way. Behind me right here, right, is, uh, see this, this one is the drain for the sink. It's, it's actually broken right here, right, cut through, right, and, and it's a one and a half into a two to begin with, and that collar is broken, right, okay. So I'm not trusty. That, of course, too, for a pointer, right, and it's right here, this T, right here, this one, this right here is the drain for the shower, right, this one right here is the main drain, Right down, right to the out to the sewer, right, and that's where the vent is. It goes up that way. See, and it's broken right here. You can see this collar. It's been broken before. I mean, this this was broke clean. Right, this this is because it froze this past winter because there was some water left in the drain, right, and up here and, and the worst worst of seven thousand feet right here at the mountain. Right, up here it gets three feet of snow. I mean, if you leave water in your drains and you're not attending to your house, this is what's going to happen. You can see this has been replaced a few times, right? This is the drain right here for the toilet, this big one, right? So what we're concerned with is replacing this pipe that's broken here, right, and the collar, and this pipe that's broken here, right, and the collar, right? This one's still good, but I still got to cut the T out, right? So what I'm going to do is, is, I don't know if you can see it, Let's see if I can point the light a different way. <laughs> there, this, now, now the shadow's on this side over here. Anyways, but see, I still have to cut it out. Right, so now, I, I figured out how to do this part. I got those pieces right here. Now I got those pieces right here already mocked up. and They're not glued in yet. Right, this this one is uh, threaded. This one's actually glued on, this piece here. Okay, because the T. But I found the T with this piece. This piece has been glued in. This collar hasn't been glued on yet. Okay, so when you're looking down at it, this is the one to the main drain. This is the one from the shower. This is the one from the sink, right? What I have to do is, because remember, the one for the sink is an inch and a half, right? So my idea, right, see this is an inch and a half pipe coming out of a collar, right? And this is the screw-in collar right here. So I screws into this, into this inch and a half, you know, right? Slap, you know, this one's just a slide on, right? So, this was my idea. This is how I thought about, you know, fixing it, right? But since this inch and a half fits inside the two inch, right? And so I just glue this one in right here and then use the threaded on collar, right? And then connect this piece, right? And then cut the pipe up there where it's broken and use this collar and fit it back together. Right? That's how it's going to do it. See, so, so basically what I got, you know, I'm, I'm going to put it all together except for these two ends because those are the two ends, you know what I'm saying? There. Because if I, I, I need to put this one together first because it's going to make it static so it will stay where it is. Okay. As you can see, right up here, right, right up above the piping area right here, there's a pretty good sized spider web with a lot of moth carcasses and stuff in there, right, you know what I'm saying? So, Mr. Spider's probably living up in there somewhere, right? So, for safety precaution, right, I got the old, you know, Lysol, you know, anti-disinfectant kills everything stuff, and I sprayed... Sprayed old Mr. Spider's web up there, right? He disinfect his ass, just, you know, at least neutralize him, <laughs> right? While I cut these parts out. This one, right? Things be cut out right here. Now this one is broken right here, right? So, we're gonna cut his ass down about an inch or so past the break. Okay, that piece is broken clean up. All right. uh, 
You don't even want to know what's in there. And that's the sink drain. Okay, so we got those two done. Now we need to get the tea out. This is where we're getting pretty close to Mr. Spider's habitats right here. <sighs> you want to be mindful, keep your eyes open. All right. You know, just because we disinfected him doesn't mean he's dead. All right. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Fire ain't jumped down and got me yet, so. Bad thing. You guys don't know what I just went through just, just to get this little tiny work area. <laughs> but anyways. Okay. This one, right, is the outlet to the drain. Right, from where I cut it off, right, to where the T fits, needs to be like around six inches. Right? So, let's put the six right there on the end. Alright, grab our trusty hacking saw, and let's go about right. All right there. Okay. So we got that mocked up right there. Right? The drain. The flow outward to the main drain. Right? Yeah, it's off, it's, you know, off a little bit, but I can, this pipe is moving, so I will get it lined up. So the next measurement we want is the shower drain right into the main. Right? That one there needs to be about, oh, seven inches or so. Two inch white collar is right over. <laughs> so now all we need to do, alright, is figure out and say how much we need. This one in here. Just the old, you know, bumpy hammer. Okay, so that means all we gotta let to do is figure out how much we got here. All right. Yeah, I think that's it. All we gotta do is just take it off our good. That's not too bad, huh? So, wait, wait a minute, Brian. Well, where did you find parts for the drain for the toilet and the shower and the sink in the bathroom? Bro, I've only smoked one joint so far today, man. You're making me think. Let's go see. This is going to make some of you laugh. Really, they get it. They really get it. But, the parts for the plumbing, I found right here. You guessed it. In the outhouse. <laughs> Who would have thought, right? Look, right here. 
It's a big old box of all kinds of parts. You know what I'm saying? Peak traps, double trap, big ones, these two inch ones, inch and a half. Right? You know what I'm saying? We got wires, we got bits, we got couplers, we got screw lines, we got elbows, we got big old drain elbows, we got super flipper T things. Right? And yes, this is, ah, this is a two holder right here. This one, not too long ago, you know, maybe within, you know, 10 years maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're still in service. Another Shad Garbany from the 70s. Right. That's where the pumping parts are in the shit house. Okay. So, we got all the pieces right here. I got it all fit together. Like, right, you know, drop it. Except for this one. I glued this one in. Right, I used the old beat up cheap pound glue that I found. Alright. You know, I mean, it doesn't look real pretty. All right, but it's glued, all right, and it's clean through. All right, all right, now. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one's hammered in. <laughs> all right. Did I hammer that one in too? Apparently I did. <laughs> you see, sometimes using a hammer is a good thing, right? But you got to be real careful. I mean, this is how I do it. I take a wood, block of wood or something, right, lay it over the top, something that's bigger, something that's bigger, something that's bigger than the top of the pipe, like that, and Sam, hold it flat, right, take your hammer and give her a couple of taps until it, you know, doesn't move anymore, right, you don't need glue, bro, right, but for the other separate pieces, you know, I mean, yeah, that only works on good, you know, solid, bigger fittings, Right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's, there's probably some contractor dude out there who's gonna make a comment. Oh man, that's just a whole super public! I've been doing this stuff too for 25 years. I've never had one leak once I put it up in place. But, we're gonna glue the rest of these ones together. <laughs> so! You wanna make sure all the surfaces that are going to be glued are clean and free of debris. Right? Remember, we're using, you know, reclaimed PVC pipe here. Well, it will be as clean as you could possibly get. Well, all the surfaces that are going to be glued. Right, use the tools at hand. If you got one of these, use it. <laughs> See, look at that. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, but anyways, if you got a little piece of sandpaper or a pile, you know what I'm saying? Kick some of the burrs off the edges. This one here is Oatly Handy Pack. Best one. This is one I prefer. This is one I recommend. You know what I'm saying? This stuff's good. Right? You just gotta make sure this primer's still good. Right? It's not so much the glue. The glue is always gonna be good. <laughs> but the primer, especially if it's low. Oh yeah, that's still right. We're gonna prime all the surfaces to be good. Right? Okay, do the outside, because we're doing this one too, remember? Mm. Are you watching the glue dry? No, I'm gluing the glue. Oh. You're right? gluing the glue? Well, I'm priming the pipe. Alright, I see, I see, I see. Right? Okay, set that one aside. Close the lid on your primer. Let it dry. Alright? This is the next step. Huh? Let it dry. Hmm. Yeah. That's why it's called primer. <laughs> Cleans the surfaces, makes it so so that way when you do put the glue on it, it makes a better adhesion. It's the same principle as vulcanizing a rubber bike tire. You know, with the rubber pads, the glue, right? You put the glue on and you let it completely dry, right? Then you stick to the patch to the rubber, right? Because the glue emulsifies the rubber. And the patch is made out of a material that went the, when they're stuck together, that it balkanized. You heard this term, balkanization. The two rubbers bond together because of the glue. The, the PVC bonds together, not because of the glue, but because of the primer. You see what I'm getting at? It adheses one to the other and it forms a thing. Science lesson. This is my boss, Tasha. Okay, so, primer's dry. Take your glue. Right, we're gonna start right here at the one inch, the half, one and a half in the, right. So, 
Make sure you got good glue, right? And glue the outside of the pipe. You don't want to film your friend? Oh, yeah. She, yeah. She, she's going to get pictures. All right. Now, remember. Remember the trick. Twist it. So it stops turning. I already explained why. I already explained the process why. There we go. Look at that. Now, collar. Because remember, the collar got to go on to the other. Right? The collar got to fit the main drain. Right? But we're only gluing one side. One side, guys. We'll glue the other one up there. Right, but you try, want to try to be as neat as you can in your work area. You know what I'm saying? That, that way when, you do, when you're doing something, you know, like this, you see you don't get dirt and scuzz and bullshit in it, and it fails. Right, because that's usually the biggest the biggest reason stuff like this fails is because it gets dirt or some trap it starts to leak. And over time, the leak turns into a crack, right? And, you know, freezes, expands, contracts, all that stuff. Right, so let's go. Okay, remember now, you're going to clean all the surfaces. Now, before you go twist and bend everything, you want to make sure that you have some play the same with, with the pipes that you're working with. This one's not so much, but it's got a little wiggle room back and forth, right? And, and this one is the one that broke, remember right here. Right, so you got to be careful because it's brittle. Right? Okay? Let's figure out how to put it on first. Uh, time time says, remember, all right, before the glue sets. Okay. There you go. It's all glued together. It still has the downward slope to the drain right here, to both sides. All right, so, there you go. Now it picks a broken plumbing, all right, for your bathroom. Huh? This is me, Brian. Thank you.